Gathering information. Matches over, Emil and Tantara's taking face C, contact, first blood being drawn out by Emil, Alex takes a quick trade back, it also gets involved, Tantara's with a drive-by headshot, looks at that second player, and gets in the ball as well, Crims in a 1v3, can't hold off for much longer, Tantara might not... A to a very quick defense. It must have relied heavily on his teammates. Smokes him with the CT side. Emor takes face. Alex does get a kill in. It's a, there with a the trade. Gets tagged up pretty heavily as well. AK's fire back. Bomb can get planted. The first fire of Brawlin can see one player in the back lines. Can't catch that kill though. Walks against a reload. But it's a 4v4 retake. It all just comes down to time stalling now for the T side. And for Fnatic just trying to set themselves up to position. They do have a smoke going down. What's it known? The shot missed out. Continuing to fire back for the AWP. Can't see the CTs though. Bullets was past the T side line. Finally taps on towards him. Wops is not going to take a peek in the flashbang. Turned away from. Good kill from Mezzi. Wops who can't respond. Brawlin gets involved. Calyx the same. 2v2 now. Where's the defuse kit? Nowhere to be seen. Picking up another kill for Wops. It leaves Brawlin left to save. The AWP brought into the next round for Fnatic. And it's 4 0 for Eternal Fire. And the difficult factor that Fnatic face in that round is that they're just so light on that util that they can't really force that AWP out to the open. They don't have an incendiary to get Woxig to swing out wide. They don't really have the flashes and the smokes to that it is. Flashes forward. Mezzi takes fight. Emo can get his kill. First man down. Effective immediately. Crims can follow suit with a trade. Aids on. Brilliant stuff. So much damage being done here, and the AWP catches the perfect flick to the headshot. Accurate against Emo, he's down a man now. Advantage Fnatic. That was such a great start into the round for Eternal Fire, being able to deal with Mezzi, and even those nades being placed to perfection still puts them down by one. Fnatic still looking for more info from Crims. They're going to try and play aggressive. Zantara's caught perfect flash timing. Kalix. Assisted in that kill. Bomb drop now. CT's on. Rotate, but they've read Alex's backstab. Gone for that several different times. And the Warbang even connects to Crims. Finally, Kalex can connect the kill to a two versus two. The CT still know that that bomb has been dropped out there. And Eternal Fire have got to force forward. Will they grab the bomb and rotate? Will they try pull a fake out? They're making noises, but Fnatic are still going to look in. They've seen that bomb again. It all just comes down to try to catch the CTs off guard. Catch them sleeping. It's going to have to be dry. They've got no further util. And they're out to get control of the bomb to kill the second kill and makes it a triple. Four HP near is be exact. It's gonna be quick. Looks in, flash it already. Messi held back. Looks in for once. And Taurus can overwhelm that first player. M4 gets two kills on the back of quad. Messi makes it a triple. Woxing trades back to a 2v2. So damage has been done by Eternal Fire. And away from blinded off, it's uh, getting caught, taken out by Alex. Woxing can trade back in a one versus one. He's done so much here. 2k to his name. On for the triple. On plant, tapped once, trying to force Shakino out, makes the footstep noise, not quite giving up the headshot. The AWP still goes down anyway, and what together and so silently, Messi's got an off angle on the crossfire with Crims. AUG sees one, catches the tag on the second man he was unaware of. Messi can finish off the kill against him and a backup, make it a triple. Walks it with a responsive, has that bomb. Held back behind Banger and a Molotov comes out to the back lines here. Not ready for Alex. Peeks in, gets his kill. Now, this AWP is really aggressive, and for the rifles, they can just swing on the contact, be able to deal with the orb. Oh, ooh, struggling to get the kill forward. Chikino and Alex working together, they can't quite get back to safety. And finally, Zentara strikes, biding his time alongside Wox to get the kill on Alex. Both players were low. Crims can respond towards Wox and make it a double up of his own right. Headshots are playing. Or just let him get the bomb down. Money will be an issue for a ton of fire regardless. Mezzi gets his frag in, so that way they don't even get the bomb plot. Several times over the course of this map up. Some of the AWP Jakino also watching that through tops, expecting someone from Eternal Fire to force forwards. And Taurus has done that a couple of times, but Alex just blind firing some common pre fire angles does find the hit onto Vox 6. There is some payback because Eternal Fire have been able to have some great wall banks and spoke spams. Issa not being able to land on the bottom of the ladder, he's going to take some fall damage. Not ideal. Neither is that for Zentaris. Jakino. Doesn't get away alive for it. They might let them walk into the site here. He actually could deny the bomb plant even further. There's so much that could be found. Tapped once. Emo gets caught. Great kill. Great follow-up. Brawlin actually steals it away, but it's still going to be in the round for Fnatic. Looking to close out this half with the advantage. 8-7 up as Brawlin domes Calyx and closes us out. Quite as accurate as he'd like it to be, though. Fnatic start walking, moving up with a nade from Alex to try to get himself set into the back of the site. Lands perfectly on Emo. First blood drawn by Brawlin. Zantaris forced back. T-side players swarm the site en masse. Grim trying to take place here. Back up. Mezzi, great flashes in. He still gets caught for 15 HP. And the T's back away in the 5v4 retake.
Uh, Total Fire are just desperate for a pick back, desperate for an engagement to come through. And for Fnatic, now that they've got the man advantage and the bomb down, they're so passive on this side. Smoke on the bomb itself, trying to get that defuse kit inserted. Talix will get towards the side. Jaquino gets his kill. Alex still sitting there in the midst of it with a knife. Embarrasses the man for trying something so cheeky. And Eternal Fire, it was a good idea. But back of it. Well, they're trying to get the AWP out to 51, get an aggressive sideline into Rams, and Tara's working on the edge of the smoke, dealing with the first of Jaquino, looking in for a slight more. Nade on, Alex tagged up, Brolin also tagged pretty heavily towards that mid control, Nade's in. That was fine anymore actually, so the damage turns out to a 4 versus 4. Got to deal with the player on site, great flash involved, actually they catch Issa on rotation, so Fnatic Playing against the grain, Eternal Fire trying to read where they're coming from, but they can't get a beat on what's happening here. Kalix gives up his angle as well. They know he's held back here. Crimson's got a lot of pressure against his name, so he's got to try and see if he can escape here towards middle control. And Kalix has just bissed the window as well. The perfect timing oh. from the T side, capitalizing on it with a kill. That, that is so sick. That is such a smart play coming through for Grims. You really rarely see a T-side player getting into CT spawn. And when you get an opportunity... Oh, here we go. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's been like a couple of times it's been close. It's like, it doesn't feel like a position you can wall bang there between that wall and the ladder room, but it is actually surprisingly thin, so it does work with an yeah. AWP. Roland hasn't been needed as much as he was in the Sinners game that he is here. Appropriately so, because he has gone down as the first casualty of this round. Now that look who's getting the He's gonna continue in towards B. Smoke on a site. That's a nice gap for Wonksy to work with there. He doesn't catch Mezzi. Mezzi sees him instead, but the second face allows that wall bank to connect towards him. So casualty for the T side. Meanwhile, Alex has walked out to the A play and eternal fire of no ideas. And Taurus will now know but recognized it far too late. Headshot in. Bomb can go down. Oh, what a great lurk out from Alex that as soon as the B contact doesn't quite go the way they would have liked, okay, I'm going to start making a play. I'm going to start moving forward, catch off one of the rotates, bring it back to a 3v3. Hey, got to be evaded. Jaquino still sees Emo through it. That little plume of smoke that comes up from the hate. When you think about it, still though, when you're up 7-2 and you've now lost 12 rounds in a row, I'm expecting more. I'm banned up in the ramp smoke. First time in a while that they've lost the opening man advantage. They're starting to turn up the pace because they don't have a lot of time. It's uh, Oh, Brolin can't catch him. The spray is only so good there. The bullets going all sorts of awry. Jaquino couldn't land his flick shot. Trying his best to connect to something back here. His teammate's gone down, though, and he's quick to follow suit. They've had. They actually used one for the deeper CT. More flashes coming through to give the indication the CTs might want to be retaking this ramp control. It's a falling, and now Amor's alone. Back up's on its way, but slowly, and the mall's just caught so far in the open again. The flash is keeping him so blind and exposed at that gap from ramp to main. And with that casualty, Eternal Fire don't want anything to do with this round. They'll concede, hold on to the AK and the AWP. But they will. He was alone on A. Zantares fell. His teammate Abyssa fell. He's getting hit by so much Uto. He's the only player to defend the A site. Rotations aren't coming at all. You can't expect him to hold that by himself. From here. Fnatic looking to close in on a victory and take the opening map of the series. Shots on a Jaquino. Isolates one player behind a gap and a smoke. Zantaris known here towards ramp. Does put a decent nade up, but only tags one player. And now for Eternal Fire, you'd have to imagine there's going to be some sort of aggressive play. Start moving forward out from mid. Crims is exactly ready for this sort of play. And Zantaris does catch Alex on the lurk. Getting a caught off on the wrong foot here. Messi better be ready. Oh, adjustments. He checks it. Headshot found. Emo to adjust. AWP held back here. Desperate to get a shot in on somebody. He does find Messi. Looking back for Chikino. Tagged up. Issa comes up with his kill. Nate to the site. Gets Chikino at the drop. And it's all left to Brolin in a 1v3. 1 HP. This round goes the way of the CT side. A great utility. Thinking there might be a boost up. And he might assume right. Crims just at the edge of the slope scene. There, kill. Found sprays through towards Brolin. Knows that he's out there somewhere. Retreats back in the four versus four. Getting back to the site. Brolin finds Issa. Zantaris providing support alongside Kalix, who gets two kills. And Brolin alone now towards that mid lurk. 1v3. The bomb's been dropped on B. Now that seemed to be a decent position for Fnatic. Get the one for one trade out from mid. Start exploding up to the B side. Just not being able to deal with that crossfire out of B. And we're going to be able to see the wraparound in from CT spawn. Give eternal fire. Nades on, or in, Alex, flick missed on Wox, it gets out of dodge, at least able to maintain his life for now, Brolin can catch Issa though, Zantaris with a trade on towards one man and falls out of dodge, onto the bomb site, 
Looking for an aid on Jaquino, almost loses, head towards that Deagle with the face in with the HE support, gets that frag alongside Alex's fall. And two left standing in Crims and Mezzi. Mezzi taking face as Woxic hopes to catch off that secondary pick back. But either way, Fnatic kind of locked out of this site and probably locked out of the round here. The big did try furthermore aggression up from Ram. Crims does deal with a shaky Zantari. Rehold the angle, see the jump face. Back out of dodge, e more towards side, and it's going to be the next main concern. And Mezzi's seen him, but he can't land a shot, and Crims now 1v3. Again for the T-side line, takes his face, Woxic takes his kill. Nades in, Alex takes face, Woxic barely gets away their lives, and Tara's there for a very quick response. He's played fantastically here on ramp, but he doesn't last much longer. Brolin responds on a 4 on 3 now, and sues for Fnatic. I wonder if they gamble stack this for Eternal Fire. Just start rotating everyone over to that A side. They're thinking about it. It is slow. This uh, puts that incendiary, that nade coming in. Damage should be done quite heavily to Jaquino. Crims burns quite significantly in Emo. It looked like he locked on with that orb, but he missed the shot by a hairpin. And Mezzi can capitalize for it. Issa on 20, Kalex on 100. A 2v4 retake with Fnatic bearing down the barrel of a map win. 40 seconds to get there. And as Kalex falls, Issa's left alone with nothing that he can do in this but accept his fate and give up the first map to Fnatic. God, what is going on on that retake? Amor just pushing through the smoke like that. You don't make plays in. Land those kill shots still struggling against Jaquino now out of the palace. Tag to 23, forced to fall back out of position. Zantaris coming up to try to get his headshots in. The bomb will go down. Great flick towards Mezzi. That's the start. Drawing first blood, but needing a little bit more out of this. Jaquino and Alex are still being tagged up relatively low here. But Issa and Zantaris are the low HP players of the CT side. And they're so much lower than their own right. Zantaris getting even more picks. Makes it a triple out. Crims caught off with a quadra. And Zantaris goes massive to allow the pistol to go the way of Eternal Fire. Well, for Fnatic, they get the bomb down. Flashed. Flash is over, Woxic and Issa involved, Issa can get that one frag, tag up a Mezzi is extremely low, so Zantaris will find a trade back in the end, drop that bomb in the open, Chikino, or pick, Issa still a known entity towards Dark, gonna reposition back to the site, and Crimson has no idea, frag, even be able to find another in the round. Oh, Molotov in the incendiary. Alex gets the kill on Issa, Molotov back to the site, could also be handy, but he gets caught by Kalex, 8 points of HP for Alex, needs Chikino here. Needs that AWP to strike, because now he's a dead man. It's all in the orbit of clutch shit, missing that first shot. And denied anything else in that could open it up. Fnatic might have faced a little bit of early contact, but again, they're playing the slow and careful route on these defaults. And it will work out. Crims finds Zemo. Doesn't reface. Now they work the timing to perfection. And for Kalex, all of his attention is now being drawn up. Eyes on the short position is completely exposed for the CT. So Fnatic have got a line in and splitting B. Likes to make his way up here, doesn't intend to play it back in a sight, still turns around for the 2k. Stolen away by Jaquino's AWP play, and that'll be a 5 versus 2 overall for Fnatic. Leaving Brodon alone to lurk out towards Connect to try to catch these exit frags, remove these players from play. Even Mezzi's burning in Oswald CT spawn. Shot in, Woxic dead, it's up, 1 on 5. Does get caught by Mezzi, tagged to 1 point of health. They go hunting, he's done. Now, do they want to go hunting? Because they'll know they did a lot of damage onto him. Economy is still low on this T-side. They can't afford to lose any more players. There is a hunt coming through from that T-spawn area. Issa just evades the window. There is still a fair bit of time left on that bomb. Flash is in. Yeah, it's Brolin. Frag found. Issa dead. Not your position. So his indication of mid being clear isn't quite correct. Oh, Issa read by Mezzi. Jump face may have caught him at the gap. There at the ladder. 4v4 as a result of his efforts in the blind spray, whether it be information fueled or otherwise, will lead to the even man standing, but not for long. Zantaris tagged to 23, gets away with a frag back on Alex, removes him from the mid control. Crims drops to Emor Woxic, looking to use his AWP for good here on the palace angle, misses his chance. Mezzi gets his headshot, domes him, smoke back towards Connector Jungle. Zantaris still there at CT as the bomb makes his way up to site. Can it be denied by the main man of Eternal Fire? Molotov's back, AK looking in, has got to get this trade together, Mezzi cool looking the wrong way, still gets Antares, still gets a second, not quite a third, it's a 1v1. A great sequence to press forward and just apply as much pressure as possible out to CT, Jakina gonna go over to the AK, Kalex hearing that. He knows where he's coming from, gotta check the side, oh Kalex has the better read, and catches Jakina off guard with the two dinks down at the M4, and a third round for Eternal Fire.
That's well played from Kallax, just to work on the edge of the smoke, get the read that jacino has been able to pick up that AK and start repositioning on the side. Fnatic doing decent work to bring that round back. That's what a four from Fnatic. Little information given up here towards that round position. The smoke goes down in towards that jungle angle. Flash is over. Missed out entirely. Crims gets caught damaged up. They hit him and get those kills regardless. And what's it can find a kill, but goes down very quickly after the fact. And the two players left over on that B site, really with no chance to make a round happen here. Fnatic, a very efficient take of the A sites. Well, it's a very dry approach to start off. Just swinging out wide, baiting the AWPA to only attack kill. And even in that situation, what I enjoy is the way that once they get that early info and Crims is able to deal with the stairs player, they kind of slow it down ever so slightly. And Alex peeks up at top stairs as Crims peeks back in from ramp. Have that dual crossfire. Yeah, Kallax is going to find an exit kill on Demezi to try and do some further damage. Still in a bit of a state thanks to the losses that they've taken in the previous few rounds. Got to keep the cash in, got to keep the money building to allow a confident... Find some sort of gaps in the offensive is, is what they need. Alex just slow walking into top car. Timing, Flash comes forward. Still wins that fight completely blind. At least that trade comes forward, but now the B exec is out. Alex dropping, Brolin gets a trade back onto Kallax. Even at the short position, takes a face in. Does find Krim somehow. And there's really nothing against the spray together, but Brolin has extended even further out towards the market doorway. Catches that player, gets the bomb secure in a three on two. And what's going to go back. What, what choice do you have when Fnatic are looking as good as they are and finding these picks so easily, getting a sight control as easily as they are? A bit of a lead go back in that previous map up to allow a tunnel fire a chance to do something in the second half. But this will be even more one-sided if this keeps going down the route of Fnatic. It's a kill to start off for Emor. Double orb set up in towards Short Jaquino's orb. Ooh, baits in Wox. It gets it back over towards Danger. Sees that flashbang coming in. Tanks that in the face, trying to go for the blind shots, but they're not really going to connect here for the man. Brolin comes up with his kill. Wox, it burns him alive. So even top of con from that Tetris angle. And Moore is swinging very far out wide. This is aggressive, and he actually wins it. And Jaquino focused on the center of the site, not towards the peak coming in. Towards Con Mezzi tagged up 35 points of HP. Crims with a swing back and Emor can't land that flick, but neither can Crims get that kill. Finally comes forward for him as he grabs that bomb crossing. Kalex is also out there. Taps forward, tap that bomb once, stick the whole thing, flashbang in. Good kill for Mezzi. They just stick the bomb plant in. Crims set with a clutch, but watch it gets him quickly and gets the round for eternal fire. And they're, they're in a difficult 2v3, and without the util when they've already used that smoke, you've got to plant open for CT and just hope that the cross is. Fnatic, final goodbye in for this half. Woxit goes massive, and he has really stepped it up towards the end of this half. Another kill in against Alex. It doesn't last further than just that opening frag. It's traded so quickly by Fnatic. Now it's on the rest of the boys to keep this round together for a tunnel fire. 4v4, Issa looking to face forward. Mezzi and Crims might not be ready for this. Dry face is a bad idea, and they're about to find out why Crims can respond. Peer trying to look... For the CT side, Kallax turned away from it at the wrong timing. He's let one player across. He won't let the second man go, though. Kill, found. Zantara is still a linchpin element. Crims sneaking by. Can Zantara read it? Can Kallax get red upon as well? 17 seconds. Utility in. They're coming their way back out here. Crims gets caught by Zantara. Jaquino, no. AWP, 1v3. 10 seconds left. We'll find that first, but find no more. In front of Hearing those footsteps going past the smoke. Player at CT is going to bail out. The bomb can go down. Well, they've got two sets of nades to start working on this retake. You've got to wonder how much this mid flank of Woxic's going to find. Aris looking to wrap in. Knows that Alex might be there at the cubby corner. And indeed, he draws first blood in the half. Woxic next to face. Back turn. Looks into that short control and flicks back to the head of Crims. Zantaris with a kill of his own right here. Looking towards that bomb plant position. Mezzi gets a couple of kills back now. The fuse picked up. Smoke back on the bomb. Can he get towards the, the fuse? He'll tap it once. Try to force them out. Even more going in for knife frags. They hear him. They tap on. Knife comes out for Mezzi as well. But he can't land it. He's out of ammo. He gets caught by Emor. Back in the gap. Both. Eternal fire. Walk their way into that beast site. 
Oh, good shot from Giacchino and Krim to follow suit. Deagle and Nezzy gets his turn and his fourth. And that's it. Kalix and Zentaris trying to get Trace to go to Kalix from beyond the grave. Zentaris is the bomb his back and nailed it out to 23 HP. And Krims will finish the job. What rounds. In terms of kill distribution, it does look pretty good for Eternal Fire. It's just that we're not really seeing that star potential coming out. And Alex just peeking as the smoke blooms. One sec. Okay, finds two kills. Here, Emor could get caught by Nezzy. And if he can get that pick back, he'll even back to a three versus three. Misses out the headshot as Emor turns it to two. And that's the round done, really. Frolin could take a fight onto a more from the bottom of COD, gets baited, needs to try and just save onto a couple of rifles. What a sequence that was from Woxic to trade back a couple of kills, just spamming. Yeah, really nicely done. Let's see if we can find a pick, do some further damage with some exit kills. Main objective is going to be able to hold on to those couple of AKs. We could buy down an AWP over to Chikino. He could even buy himself in the next round. There's no problem there at all. A turtle fire. Try and lean in here. Sprays up initially. Mezzi with the M4. Crashing in towards Palace. Gets two kills for it. Makes it a triple. They peek in one by one. And they give up the easiest round in the world for Fnatic. Relo could catch him off guard. He knows that he's baited in further shots. The bomb's in his control. Needs CT to come in and back him up. The flashbang comes forward. He could do it on his lonesome, but Issa finally gets the trade. Far too low on time for Eternal Fire. Fnatic getting away with 13. Can they get the kill off the time against Woxic? Yes, they can. That's even bigger. Yeah, that's great. And for a close and personal from Van to get hit by Molly. Sean Giacchino finds that first. Straight through for Mezzi. Doesn't quite catch Centaurus. The Mac 10 can strike. Crim's going to look for a headshot. Struggle to deal with that player. Does find Kalix to drop that bomb in a three versus three. Centaurus with his M4 turned up back in the apartments. They'll try and look to go. Giacchino lands the kill on towards Woxing and the kill towards Issa. Centaurus, last man left. Flick not quite as good as they'd like it to be for the AWP. And this M4 with the T side on for the ace. Caught looking the wrong way. Gets Brolin actually. 1v1. 3 HP to get this clutch together though. Alex. Needs to find a decent shot. Zantaris needs a headshot. And it's not going to come through for him. Fnatic. Hold 14. Yeah, this is going to suck. It's going to suck real bad for Eternal Fire. Messi again forces forward. Sees at least three. Get Doorway in for market window. Krim so focused on what could be out here in the apartments. Didn't see the second player though. Emor can catch Brolin. And again, the missed moment. The chance to strike time so perfectly. Krim's tag low. 4v3. Now it's two. Jokino and Alex, they have to save here. Oh, what a round for them. Issa will fall at least to one exit. Smoke back to keep Kalix in the sight in the bomb blast position. He does get killed off by Emor blind past that smoke. We will keep three in players. The Orpha Giacchino can stay back here. Fnatic on double eco, I think. Yeah, lost bonus to 1900. Flashes way over here. Alex. Oh, he's turned away. He still turns back and gets the kill. Somehow, some way, it's a 5v3. An eternal fire starting to let it slip out their fingertips. Oh, what an opportunity that is. And even Brolin playing down to the underbound position. Does this get checked? Molly's not going to come through. Yes, it does. And Taras clears. On the top, back over towards Jungle as well. Going to keep Mezzi at bay. He's going to rotate actually into the CT spawn angle. Rejoin his teammate of Crims. And a backstab involved for Alex. Coming out towards Palace. He's got to be slow now. He's got to be quiet. His teammates are waiting for this backstab to ensue. They might concede a bomb plant for it. Will they swing and deny? No, they're going to wait and continue. The AWP of Woxic has no idea as well. Alex gets turned upon, but he still gets his kill. Barely caught vision on Zataris, who falls to Crims. All to Issa, 1v4. Giacchino gets caught. Dinks on through walls. Alex secures the frag, secures the round, and the series for Fnatic in 2-0 fashion. It's going to be 16-11 to on Mirage as they find themselves a moment's silence to make their way into IEM Fall. Uh, what a performance coming through from Fnatic, and they got tested. That was not an easy affair up against the...